Hey everybody, welcome to Draw for Initiative. Happy 2017. What do you do? New Year, new paintings. Still weird. Still painting, though. Don't you think? No. Anyway, hope you had a great uh, New Year's Eve and did some celebration safely, though. Uh, we're back to paint board games. Today we have Cold Express. The choo choo. Uh, which is a game for about 40 minutes around uh, for people that are 10 years or older for two to six players. There's uh, expansions and stuff already on the market, so you can go get them. Shoot them out of the sky. I, I thought it was wrong. Mm -hmm. oh, no, Pokemon isn't a Pokemon. thing in 20, 2017 anymore, I guess. We don't know. We're from the past. Hmm. Are, we are now in the future. Which is your present. Booyah. Anyway, let's talk paintings. What did you focus on when painting? Do you remember? It's been a, it's been a couple of weeks since you finished your piece. Hmm, let me think. Da, 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 da. Right, oh, I did some sorry. switching. We had some serious talk before I started my painting. Mm -hmm. I want to get uh, that kind of twitch into the painting, not just, you know, do some Italo Western stuff, but uh, yeah, give the game itself a certain. Yeah, uh, and that was one thing that annoyed me a little mm -hmm. bit about the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, being that all the char characters are so much stereotyped that it annoyed me. <laughs> and yeah. So you had the thieving uh, Native American, you have uh, the Italian or whatever. Uh, you have Terence pretty yeah. much. You got the ginger. Oh yeah, you got the, the you French got the, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the yeah. nice looking uh, lady. Lady and yeah, I took two of those characters and just um, yeah, turned them a bit. Yeah, and it's, you gotta look for it, it's really cool. <laughs> well, I just uh, imagined uh, more the end of the game, what people look like when they leave the train in the end. It, it might be inspired a tiny bit by zombie side. <laughs> you know, there's, <laughs> there's nothing bad about that. I know, things happened on that train and it might be not a PG-13 uh, picture but well it's life you know so um join us as we paint and we tell you all about our thoughts and there we are Whee! let's adjust the camera do, 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 do. so cold express um let's shoot somebody mm -hmm. let's paint some blood <laughs> let's procrastinate okay when will we start? I thought I had cut it. But, oh, I'm. What are you? Oh, you thought uh, longer than you sketch. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Bad editing on my part. I'm sorry about that. But you're sketching just as I do. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I am. Yeah, I was. I had some issues in the beginning. How to start and background, foreground, whatever uh, perspective and blah. Mm. Uh, I did think. Uh, think a little a little bit more about this one uh, compared to the others. Yeah, it, it was, it, this is one of those games that you can very easily have a scene, but it's just a blah scene mm -hmm. because while well, mm -hmm. you're just pretty much copying what is in the game or, yeah. what, or what comes with the game rather than giving it personality. Yeah. I had the same trouble. It took me a bit longer to decide what I want to do. I had two scenes in my head. Mm -hmm. um, one of all the folks entering the train and being the sneaky, you know, that kind of face and meh. you can't see them, folks. But I'm sorry about that. But Tina can, and she knows what that scene is uh, that I had in my mind, and the other one that I actually painted, which is more the well final act of Cold Express. <laughs> but I, I had the same trouble that yeah. you had as well. Yeah, so, so yeah. Um, with mine you can already see, well, kind of uh, what I did switch around, um, at least if you know the game. Mm -hmm. um, I did, um, I did choose, uh, how was she called? Uh, 
the green Native American, I yeah. don't know, Chay Cheyenne? I think I, it was I don't Cheyenne. remember yeah, the it names. Was, it was Cheyenne. Um, and, well, in the game, she's the typical CD cup cutthroat with uh, just a small pistol and stuff and not uh, as I did it the cool sniper girl mm -hmm. uh, which you usually don't expect so I switched that up and the person you see next to her is uh, the beautiful ginger lady turned into a short guy yeah because a little gender bending yeah a little female yeah. short she male uh, a female um, looking mm -hmm. you know dude Dude. Yeah, the, what we uh, said earlier in the intro, uh, we're gonna elaborate a bit more here. This is one of the games that very much plays with cliches, but to the point that it's unbearable. And uh, that is the one thing that um, we both are not very fond of when it comes to, well, having any theme in a game. It's the typical Western movie and... I mean, this game came out like two or three years ago. There was, there that definitely was in the time frame of come on, let's bend the rules a bit and um, invent something new and not go with the cliche when it comes to the characters. So yeah, and just to make sure we understand that it's playing with that, and we uh, certainly tolerate and mm -hmm. accept that. But I just felt like, you know, doing something different uh, because I like that better. Yeah. And it's it's just more interesting there. You can... Or it's way more interesting to then give those characters a personality rather than taking the ones that come with a cliche yeah. character sheet there. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. just more fun. Although you have to admit, uh, certain cliches, uh, which aren't cliches here, are mm -hmm. certainly cliches over there. Uh, you have the short, uh, cutesy guys in Japan, which yeah. are a typical archetype, and mm -hmm. uh, especially anime stuff. So that's probably um, yeah, inspiration, an inspiration I had. So I admit that. Well, definitely, and it's nice to just put the two together and see what you could do there and what you could yeah. create there, and then you give that person a name and a hobby and a voice and a whole personality, and actually like that, <laughs> when you could incorporate that into the gameplay while you play this game, because, well, yeah, um, this is more of a lighter family game, and if you play it with a group of the very experienced board gamers, then, uh, well, you might be a bit bored, but if you could then play with the characters of the people that you're playing, it could be, again, a very interesting game and people want to play it over and over again. Well, the game and the me mechanics itself are nice, so yeah. so there's nothing to argue about that. No, 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 it's, it's a very solid family game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, not um, taking away from that. So, maybe you want to tell us a bit about what you are doing. I see four people there. Yeah, the fifth one is going to come now. fifth one is coming now. Why uh -huh. is one person laying, lying down? Well, she is exhausted. Oh. She has... Um, she fainted. Mm -hmm. uh, she got a big blow to her head Ouch. and she yeah. fainted. So, um, those four characters that definitely are not the winners of this game. Um, <laughs> they're just sitting there on the train station. The train left. And the winner did also leave, and these are just like, oh my god, this oh. was the greatest fight. So <laughs> they're all gonna have black eyes, and they uh, will have lost their teeth, and their wardrobe is not as pristine as it was in right. the beginning and stuff like that. So it's pretty much the end of the game. And you just can look at the loser's couch That's there. a nice idea. Uh, just a little, um, yeah view behind the scenes I didn't see the picture no, up to today no. because uh, I just painted them today and yeah she made it she made it more exciting for me <laughs> yay <laughs> this is so exciting <laughs> oh it is it is and there we had the winner who looks like quite funny I like mm -hmm. it. he looks so cartoonish it's cool <laughs> yeah I think it's Daniel Daniel's, uh, well, it's the white character in the game, but I, that's usually what Daniel plays yeah. quite often, so it's him winning. 
<laughs> that's what I imagined. That's why he has the jump in the air. So yeah, yep, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. It's nice. And there's the train. Yep. I like that. I like the picture you did there. It's thank already you. cool. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, it's just, I mean, you gotta goof it up sometimes, you know? Sometimes you don't have to. But see, but... I'm far be before you uh, mm -hmm. starting to paint uh, did start oh my god grammar i lost my grammar today i'm sorry yeah guys. it's 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 still in the office we have a taxi driver um that's currently on the way bringing the grandma <laughs> back to her it's uh, maybe in the next voiceover i don't know what well, it's thursday thursdays are the goofiest days in the studio and we're just sometimes even a bit loony and uh while well, we lose grandma and uh, we're just <laughs> Yeah, we're not serious, folks. Best, They're perfect days for voiceover. Best work atmosphere we have here, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only oh, thing I'm missing sword. is the audiobook. Oh, well, we're gonna get back to that. Let's voice over faster! <laughs> yeah, it's like 45 minutes in total, three videos, and then we're done. And then we can hear the first book of Outlander, folks. She's uh, in, we are at the fourth part, so we're getting to the who not so great stuff there for all of you who know the book. And um, I, well, I uh, am pretty much. The person who said, oh, this is nice, now you have to follow it. And now every Tuesday and Thursday is like, shut up, Sarah, and uh, start the audiobook. I want to know what's going on here. So, <laughs> got her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Do, 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 That's do, actually do. how she makes sure I'm uh, coming to paint regularly. <laughs> yes. Regularly. Oh, gosh, uh, you know what I mean. Twice a week. Yeah. Let's call it twice a week. Oh, my gosh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I, well, other people use candy or stuff, or I don't know, their private parts. I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm just a friend who says, I got a great story here for you. And you can listen it, uh, to it for all the time that you want, as long as you paint. And it works. Mm-hmm. I'm so well, cheap. sharing is caring. <laughs> sharing is caring. Absolutely. And it's a really great story. And uh, very soon you can listen to the podcasts um, <laughs> that talk about the <laughs> where um, the stories discussed a bit. And then we can watch the, so, the show. And, there go yeah. my home office days. Well, you got to suffer somehow. Right? You got you to <laughs> prioritize. <laughs> I'm gonna call my boss. Well, you know, I can't, I can't work. I'm at Outlander, uh, chapter four in uh, part three in book f seven. You know, that very crucial part. I can't come to work today. It's like, yeah, I know it's it's bad uh, like that. But, you know, we, we have like at least one day a week that we can listen to the book and we make progress there. So, yeah, yeah, you're good yeah. to go. For that it's great yes so coming back to the painting the you're re <laughs> you're really fiddling there it's like wow yeah i started from background to foreground mm -hmm. if you didn't notice i'm very proud of you uh, was it difficult yeah. to go like that did yeah, you but okay. it would have been more difficult uh the other way around because uh the characters in foreground are way darker mm -hmm. than the than the other stuff and mm -hmm. That's just how I planned out the painting mm -hmm. to get, you know, lighter to the background so that you wouldn't have it uh, so much um, pop, pop out. I, yeah, don't, well, I don't like the term to pop, but uh, that's <laughs> probably what you say. Because I'm always thinking about popping zits when... when wow! Yeah, uh, that's usually what the I... the yellow, yeah, there. Uh, no, yeah. no, but um, I mean, they're in a, in a train car, yeah. so there's shading going on. Of course, they are darker and the distance outside right. of the train is lighter. Right. Yeah. So I totally did makes sense. play with that. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay me. I did. Yeah, I just I just like that. Um, well, you usually you or in so many videos, you always said, well, I want to color the things first that I'm really passionate about because, well, I'm getting tired then and I want to yeah. make sure that 
I have the stuff that I want that I have perfect. Right. And it seems that uh, you ventured onto you a new path here and going with the background, which which usually is not your most favorite part to color first. So sure. I'm I'm very proud of you. Yay. Well done. An Whoa. achievement unlocked. Yeah. And as a reward, you will get one chapter cup of, tea. <laughs> of Outlander. Tonight. Oh, what's in matter? <laughs> Can I have a cup of tea with that? Oh, do you have a full... Um, <laughs> I, I gave her a big, big um, a thermos of um, tea with a bit of honey. Because it's winter here. Yeah. Well, or actually it's autumn. It's not winter. It yet. feels like winter. It is. So For me, there only exist uh, three seasons. Oh, oh, there's oh, spring, too. there's summer and then there's uh, winter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, know, you know, like overnight, yeah. end of summer, mm -hmm. switch, it's winter. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> well, for me, there's actually eight seasons, but, you know, I'm I'm fine to go with just four. I like how he just has a sock on your picture. Yeah, he lost his, his, he boot, lost his yeah. boot and he has stripy socks. That's so cool. <laughs> like I said, goofy mode today. Yeah. It also is in the paintings there. Yeah. And they all have a gimmick somewhere. Yeah. It's it's nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun painting that today. I listened to a couple of podcasts mm. and just painted and painted and painted <laughs> and painted. I know that feeling. Mm -hmm. Well, not with podcasts actually, but yeah, you know. Yeah, audiobook is yeah. very similar to Audiobooks. podcasts. So, audiobooks. Yeah, I just enjoyed myself. <laughs> And there we have a ginger. The ginger ginger. She's gonna pop up in another painting as well. Oh yes, I saw that today. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, he's crying there on the left hand side or vomiting. You can choose. <laughs> oh, they look really badly. Oh, yeah, they're so all, much blood. They're all very beaten very much beaten up while they played against Daniel, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not They're, an easy enemy. No, no, and you cannot just get away with um, a little Hello Kitty band-aid. <laughs> you have to have... But it certainly would help. Yeah, yeah. Bigger bandages there. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so cool. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, that's. Uh, I think that's our gaming group. Playing yeah. against Daniel when we yeah. play Cold Express. Funny yeah. enough, it also applies when we play with um, Daniel's parents and uncle. Mm -hmm. Same thing. <laughs> But then White is played by my mother-in-law and mm -hmm. she's really good at this game. So it would be her jumping there and Daniel sitting with us. Your mom is so full of surprise uh -huh. always. So, yeah. Uh -huh. I definitely love to play that game with her. <laughs> oh, Honestly. Fuck. You would lose big time, just as we do. Yeah, I just But want it's, it's to an experience it. Yeah, yeah it's... you will at one, one <laughs> point. So that is our uh, painting for this week. We hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, as per usual, or visit us on the geek list at BGG. That's boardgamegeek.com. Just saying. And uh, we will see you next time with a new painting and, um, well, a new game. If you have any suggestions for games that you want us to play and uh, then paint, of course, well, just leave that in the comments as well. We're curious. We want to know. Yeah. Take good care, folks. Have a lovely day. And uh, until next time, bye. bye.